Well, welcome Sihle. Um, for those of you who are new to Rosebank Union, Sihle is the CEO of our ministry called Rays of Hope, which works predominantly in Alexandra Township. And uh, Sihle, it's so great to see you in person without a mask on for the first time in about three months. Thank you. And uh, yeah, just wanted to catch up with you and mm. see how uh, things are going. It's been three months now since lockdown happened mm. and a lot has uh, happened in that time. Mm. And most of us have been locked down at home, mm. um, but your mm. team has really had to ramp things up and has been busier than ever. So maybe share some, uh, some mm. nuggets with us of what you've been up to. Mm. Thank you so much, uh, Jenny. I think this uh, day I would like to just focus on saying some amazing thank yous uh, to the amazing people of Rosebank Union Church. Now, the a phrase that people keep saying to me over and over again is, you know, I wish that every poor community in South Africa had a raise of hope. Sure. Uh, whether it's uh, people from uh, other organizations or people from different churches. And I think what they mean by that really is that they, they can't believe the sheer numbers of Rosebank Union people who are involved in different ways uh, in, in Alex. And this, the, the numbers of touch points between these two communities are amazing. And often they say that there is nothing quite like it uh, in this country. And I just want to give uh, some examples uh, of that. Um, for example, many of you um, sacrificially gave uh, to the work of Rays of Hope during this uh, time of lockdown. Uh, many of you actually uh, volunteered to pack. And you, you know, I, when I saw the packing operation, the number of people involved there, I was just amazed uh, that um, uh, so many people had come out in order to, to help in the community. In fact, when I saw that operation, because it takes over the whole street, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I thought to myself, shh, you know, don't tell Yvette and Patrick about what's happening. You know, only to find out that, you know, Yvette and Patrick are part of the instigators. Not only that, you know, there are dozens of people in our con congregation who have dropped off stuff uh, at the Sentinel office and uh, who are dropping off staff also in the Alex office. You know, I, I ran into Francis there and I was just amazed. I thought, what are you doing here? You know, and she had come to drop off some things, um, let alone, uh, Jenny, your gang of over 60 people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who are um, making masks. You have made over 8,000 masks. Yeah. Ladies at home with their sewing machines. That's right. And um, saving lives and uh, saving lives of the community in Alex. In fact, many of the community in Alex, the first time that they saw a mask and held it and they could wear it, those masks actually came from uh, people from Rosebank Union Church. You know, we've also had uh, Greta, who has been leading a team of people who have been making blankets and uh, making sure that we are able to keep people warm uh, during that time. And I cannot uh, forget to mention Ian Anderson and Keith, mm -hmm. uh, who are well within that category of people who are vulnerable during COVID-19 times. And yet, don't be surprised if you see them on the roof in Alex, you know, trying to make sure that our solar installations are, are, are working. And so they, um, you know, they are just uh, amazing. But also, um, even today, Jenny Lithwaite uh, will be in Alex uh, vaccinating people. Uh, and in, she won't be vaccinating for COVID yet because <laughs> we don't have that, but she'll be vaccinating for, for flu just to make sure that people uh, do not get the flu. And so, and then in the midst of that, I, I get a phone call every now and then from Pastor Richard saying, hey, Sisle, you know, how are you? You know, how are you doing? We are praying for you. We are, um, we are with you. And, you know, how can I help and it's just really uh, amazing the kind of support that we have uh, received from the church. And I think the result of, of all of that uh, is that tens and th tens of thousands of people have been kept from starving. 
and um, and from death. Uh, they've also experienced the love uh, from God's people, and uh, not only in the gifts that they've received, but also in they've experienced the nourishment of the Word of God, uh, which has been um, uh, put in all of those packets in order, and uh, many of them actually have called us, and we have prayed with many, you know, on the phone, and we have prayed with people outside of their homes. And so it's just been amazing, and I believe that God has used this season uh, in in our church. I think He has used us as a church like Joseph, who during his day uh, was used by God to save many lives and um, and to keep many from from starving. Sure. So thank you very much. Wow, Sikhle, that's so um, moving. Mm. Yeah, you don't think always of your little effort making. Mm. Um, such a significant impact, but together mm. you guys have done an amazing thing. Mm. And um, now as things are starting to, yeah. um, lockdown is starting to ease, people are getting to go back to work, the perception can be that the need is slowly diminishing, mm. um, there's not so much uh, hunger and things like that. Mm. Uh, what are you experiencing and what are your plans going forward for the next three months? Mm. Thanks, Jenny. You see, we, as we've been delivering food, uh, we've realized that actually people need uh, more than food uh, during this time. Mm. And there are acute needs that, are, that have been going unmet uh, because of that. And so uh, we have uh, identified five needs. And uh, what we are trying to do now, rather than f uh, feed as many people as possible, we are trying to provide holistic uh, services to a smaller group of people in order to sustain them mm -hmm. over the period of uh, this whole uh, COVID-19 crisis. Mm -hmm. And so well, the first need, of course, is, is still there, the food. Mm -hmm. And so we are continuing to provide food, hygiene, and masks. And so we still need uh, donations of, of funds uh, for that. Uh, but also the mental health and spiritual health uh, side of things uh, is very important at this time. Many have experienced gender-based violence. Uh, many uh, have uh, gone through all kinds of trauma mm -hmm. uh, during this time. And uh, they're scared, they're depressed, and many are suicidal. And so we have set aside about four rooms uh, at our center in Alex to, uh, to make sure that they are cared for. There are about seven social workers that are available to, uh, to counsel them. But also there's a, a nice um, office space in, in that center where about four pastors from the community are there just to pray for people and to listen and to, and to share the word with them, you know, right. as and when it's needed. And so that, that need is, a, is an important one uh, during this time. And then also the warm clothes uh, are a, a huge need right now and blankets. As many know that, um, you know, winter for many in Alex is fire season because mm -hmm. people can't keep warm enough. And so we are uh, asking um, anybody who's got an extra jacket, an extra blanket, uh, money to spend, uh, make sh um, uh, bring blankets here. You can drop off clothes here at uh, Rosebank Union Church. You can drop them off at Senton City Mall. Uh, there are designated places there. You can also take a box to your work and um, ask others to contribute as well to that effort. And so the, f the fourth thing that we are doing is the education support. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very important piece because for many who... Um, when lockdown happened, uh, many of our kids were able to l have classes online and do things online uh, through the internet, but mm -hmm. that is not a possibility in Alex. Mm -hmm. And so uh, there was no learning uh, for the kids in Alex. And so we are trying to catch them up uh, through various means, things that need to be dropped off and worksheets that need to be done, you know, WhatsApp groups. And, um, and so we're going to ramp that up as, as, um, as the lockdown is eased. And also the fifth one uh, is also important as we fight um, COVID-19, the screening as well as referring people to be tested. And so we are finding that um, as the 
uh, infections increase. You know, the government is struggling mm -hmm. to do the test, the screening and the testing. And so we do that with every person that we encounter and we make sure that they uh, are, uh, are helped in order for them to, to get testing. And so we are setting up uh, our three houses uh, in Alex, uh, in our campus there, to provide these five services. And so we need solar power, uh, because we haven't had electricity since April. <laughs> uh, we need, um, you know, Wi-Fi, computers, we need printers, we need carpets, we need gas heaters, uh, all of these things so that this multidisciplinary team can actually do this work in a way that is conducive. And I just want to say that when God gave us uh, these houses a few years ago, you know, we, we had no idea uh, that this campus was going to be the headquarters of the COVID response in Alex. Wow. And so it's really been amazing as we've seen leaders in the community uh, uh, come and meet there, as we've seen, you know, counselors, as we've seen, um, you know, um, pastors, uh, people just coming to meet in this uh, uh, great facility that God has given us and also to get supplies. And it has felt like, you know, it's the city on a hill. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow, that's mm -hmm. just amazing. Yeah. Amazing, C. Clay. Mm -hmm. um, maybe I can just encourage you to, um, you'll see at the bottom of the screen, some contact details for Rays of Hope. We've really just mm -hmm. been able to give you a very high level view of this, but they have great communication. So um, make use of that and uh, be part of this amazing work in Alex. Um, C. Clay, I'd just like to pray for you. Um, for your team, thank you for what you're doing. Mm -hmm. It's such a privilege for us mm -hmm. as a church to be part of this wonderful work that you're doing in Alex. You, before you pray, can I just say one more thing? Yes. Yeah, I just want to say that I. It has been amazing how uh, Rosebank Union Church has opened its arms uh, to the poorest in this community, uh, in this city. And um, that this work has been nothing short of uh, remarkable. And, um, and I really believe that God will bless that. God will bless those efforts. Uh, Proverbs in 1917 says that, that, that those who are generous to the poor lend to the Lord. Hmm. And the Lord will repay that. That's wow. what it says. And so um, we have seen really the sails uh, being lifted. And it's been amazing. Thank you, Sihle. Mm. Let's pray. Lord, I just want to thank you so much for Sihle and his staff and his huge team of volunteers, Lord, that we get to celebrate with them today. And uh, we thank you, Lord, that in your mercy and your kindness, you have heard the calls of people in Alex, the most vulnerable amongst us, Lord, and you have provided through this amazing organization. You've provided all the financial resources they've needed. You've provided the, in advance these houses um, that they're able to work from, um, that you've really given them a platform to work off, Lord. Um, yeah, you've just provided physical things. Everything that we've heard about today, Lord, um, has all come from your hand. And it's been so abundant. And uh, Lord, we just want to thank you for giving us all the opportunity to worship you by being your hands and feet on the ground in Alex. Whatever it is that people are able to do, that you give people opportunities to serve you and worship you in this way. And we want to ask, Lord, for continued supply of people and resources and everything that they need um, for this ongoing work. I want to thank you, Lord, for protecting Sihle and his team and all the volunteers from infection. Lord, that nobody has got sick. That's just a miracle and we acknowledge you for that. And we want to ask you, Lord, that you will continue to protect them. Keep your hand over them. Lord, protect the people of Alex from this terrible disease. Um, we just want to ask you to um, bless Sihle with wisdom as he leads this work and this team. Yeah, just guide him, Lord, and protect him. Show him the way you would have him go. We pray all these things in the beautiful name of Jesus, our Savior. Amen.